I don't know, if you compare it to, say, Origins, Bayek climbs pretty quickly. But I'll tell you, he has the slowest climb of it. It's really daunting. <laughs> it, just, it, 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 it gives you dread every time you realise you're going to have to climb up a wall. It's like, oh, God. He climbs like you would normally climb, to be honest. Collect the codex pages. So ra there's randomly four pages that his dad didn't find that are conveniently placed. If you look on the map in the bottom right, they're little scrolls. That's what we're going for. So. Yeah, and these, when you take them to Leonardo, he he give you, I think some of them have upgrades in for you, Hidden Blade and such, which is it's definitely worth um, getting as soon as possible. But a lot of them are story related, so like you can't get like an, an OP weapon until like it's given to you basically. Like I think a lot of a lot of the codex pages you get from um, when you assassinate Templars or your marks. Uh, down here. Hey. Even though um, I came here originally, uh, these weren't here. These uh, stack somebody's just ran up and put these here. D just before we got back to Mantella Journey. Sneaky. It's weird as well having a run button because they've removed the high and low profile in the later games where you just have your, your run button and you run up and run down and that's it. On this one you, you have to hold your high profile which is your trigger and then hold X or A to run. I think some of them are outside the city. I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah. Let's go and get that one. Cause I'll have to come back anyway. You can't, unfortunately, you can't just scale the wall. You don't have a grappling hook, which I'm kind of glad they removed. Even though it was fun in Syndicate, it was uh, it made climbing quite boring. I yeah. know oh, I've gone the wrong way. Oh, never mind. Yeah, so um, I think after this, we should be able to start unlocking um building upgrades you can like upgrade the villa and um and the villa produces money that you have to collect every i think it's 20 minutes of real time is a day in game and i remember i used to just leave the um the the game on you know go downstairs eat my tea or you know do whatever and then um, come back upstairs and uh collect all my money because you know Basically, the more, the faster you upgrade your, your villa, the more money you make. You can make lots and lots of dosh. Which means more weapons and more armor. Because the armor and weapons get fucking expensive. Yeah, the, I know a, a lot of the end game armor is quite expensive. Very expensive. But there is one thing that I always buy on this. Every time I play this game is, um, because you can buy dye for your, your, clothes basically i always buy the the ebony dye which is like um it's it's like um it's i think it's like a blacky bluey color but it looks damn cool oh man not being able to take your horse into the city or into the places like that it's weird that was only introduced in brotherhood when you could take your horse into the um where people are because I remember they have um, they had a, they introduced like a new guard who is on horseback. Yeah, that guy was a bastard. Like like one of the worst people to actually um, to face. Because I remember them they used to just run you down. <laughs> it was quite funny. But yeah, um, I need to get the statues now before I do anything else. The only thing is I don't remember where they all are, and I've not got my um, my walkthrough. It's on my shelf next to me. Which would revolve me um, moving away from the camera. I mean, or the microphone. But I can do it like. See? Just like that. You didn't realize I've just spent literally 20 minutes looking in my walkthrough um, for statues and I was looking on the wrong page. Uh, sucks to be me. Anyway, so there is, I think there's eight. So, the first one 
is literally right here somewhere. It's not. Oh, I know where it is, of course. It's in the corner. There it is. It's weird. I mean, I don't remember where they are, but when I um, look at a picture, it cl clicks in my head. It's weird. Uh, the next one is on the side of this building, which is the first. I think it's the very first one we saw. Be here. Like Apollo. Yeah, Mars. Apollo. Same person. Different um, Greek and Roman. Okay. So the next one should be. I think it's opposite. I think it's like. Uh, it there the books has a it has a reference it just has a like a map and it has a picture you just got to sort of wing it it's a very detailed guide pick about do a very good job doing um walkthroughs and guides i mean even if you don't use it for the um you know for the help or the stuff like that, it's good for the information you get big massive maps of where all the collectibles are because um I think it's in Brotherhood where they introduced you can buy um you can buy maps from a merchant that tells you where all the collectibles are. In this game you have to know where they are by um either finding them randomly or looking at a guide. It's like um it reminds me of like Assassin's Creed. Um you had I think it was like you had to collect um flags. You get you got no, nothing for doing it. Absolutely nothing. And I remember I've got a massive folder of pages that I printed out, loads of them, of the same map, and uh, each one's color coded. So when you go to a, like a look on the N area, I don't know where all the flags are and stuff. It, it's kind of nerdy, but you know, sometimes I just like to, you know, if, if if I want to relax or I'm feeling a bit stressed, I find collecting stuff is uh, quite therapeutic because my psyche is like that. Yeah, kind of weird like that, unfortunately. That's the next one. Yonk. Neptune or Poseidon. The next one should be on the church, I think. I don't even need to look for that. It should be... It's not there. It should be on the other side. I think I actually looked at this before. And I just chose not to pick it up. Yeah, there it is. It's like it's, it's like the one thing you can do, or the worst thing you can do on games like this, where you don't have um, we have to follow a guide is um, accidentally picking up a feather. And you can collect like ninety nine of them, and then you need one more, and you don't know where it is, and you have to go through every single one of them, and it's always the last one you look at. Ah. <sighs> Yeah. That's the next one. I think that's right. Hold on. Um, church. Yeah, there should just be two more. This one here. Whoa, oh, shit. I almost had broken legs there, mate. He was in my... He was like, yes! Oh. He was, he was wanting me to snap my, um, my little chicken bones. This one always um, seems to put me at a disadvantage. I never know what this one is. Yeah, I'll have to look in a second. It always helps to get high. As high as you can. Because they always have that weird glow when you're in your vision. Plus you can hear them. Ha. Kind of weird, that. There we go. That should be all of them. I think. I don't know what to find out on that. It's to look at my inventory or just... Go over here. So these should. I think it gives you money. I think. So I, I mean, I don't normally get these. It's uh, something that I just want to do when I'm recording. Place. Oh look, it's it's Neptune and your boy. 
somebody else. 2,000 florins. Oh, diggity damn. Neptune and Pluto. Two brothers, one resort. Fathoms deep in the other end of time. Cool. And this one. That's Athena and Zeus. Or whoever they are in the Roman equivalent. Yeah, I don't do Roman gods. I have, I'm a massive God of War nerd, so... Yeah. Jupiter and Minerva. Oh. Um, yeah, um, all of the people from um, those who came before all have um, Roman god names. I think they're doing this. Like Minerva and Juno and... Um, I don't think... Jupiter? I don't think he's in this one. I don't even know if he is in this one. I can't remember now. Like I said, a lot of um, a lot of lore for Assassin's Creed is in the comics, which is um, kind of annoying. Diana and Apollo, thank you. So yeah, I mean, if you're not if you're not willing to buy the comics or read them, I mean, I don't buy them. I read them online. Cause you know, fuck you, Ubisoft. I'll buy your games for fuck's sake. I ain't buying your comics as well. There's too many of them. Plus, I don't have anywhere around me that sells comics. So I'll buy them online. Plus, they're cheaper online anyway. I think that was it. Uh, yeah. There we go. So we got what? Two, four, six, eight, about 8,000, 10,000 florins, something like that. For a um, little trouble. So we're at 45,000 now. Which is nothing, really. But like I said, um, all your paintings that you buy, they cost a fortune. They're like end game stuff. You know, when you've got too much money and you've got enough to buy, you buy the paintings to make your villa look like um, the dog's bollocks. Plus all your gears and your pieces of armor for your stands. And all these rooms are filled with paintings. And and each, I think it's like each painting gives you a specific amount of reputation and stuff like that. But the one thing I will not do is put my um, feathers into this box. Oh yeah, she's not down here. I've already seen her. She's on. Yeah, so Cla Claudia, I think she manages your uh, money. Yeah. There she is. Hey sis. Salute, Claudia. Salute. Your uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here. Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. Hmm, makes sense to me. There we go. So this is um, the very first time that Assassin's Creed um, introduced a monetary system where you could buy shit and upgrade villas. Uh, where are we? So... Our chest at the moment can hold 625 florin, which is literally nothing. It currently generates an income of 156 florins, and it deposits in my chest every 20 minutes, which is one day. It's 20 minutes for us, and I think, I'm sure 20 minutes is a day's Assassin's Creed time. I think it is. Um, so yeah, each piece of equipment you buy is tracked, and each time you buy a, a piece of gear, your income goes up. And when you collect all the weapons, all the leather sets, and um, and all that crap, you get more money. So you collect pages, your feathers, your models, your seals, paintings, portraits of my targets. Each gives me um, reputation, I guess you could say, or dollars, and they are cash only. And then when you've collected all of them, you get a massive um, boost, good old boost at the end. And then re um, renovations. You have to build all these, so you can have brothels, mine, churches, military barracks, thief killers, and a well. And then you get massive, and again, you upgrade your shops. The more you upgrade, the cheaper it is to buy stuff, and the better stuff to sell. 
So yeah, it's pretty cool. You just like, you have to come all the way back to Montana Journey to pick up your money, which is a. Uh, it's 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 not that bad, but it can get kind of annoying when you realise it's like, oh, your chest is full, and you have to go back to Montana Journey. It's just like for fuck's sake. But yeah, then this guy, this is like your best friend from now on. He is the architect who upgrades everything that you want to do. So you give him the money and he builds it. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir, Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Ser Ezio. Am I right? I'm hey. I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Cool, yeah. So, upgrading the art which it gives fully gives us a 50% discount, but it costs uh, a lot of money. Thousands, not much. It's always good to buy the first discount. But don't go wild because, um, yeah, you do not really need to. Okay, I'm trying to think what I should do. Um, you need a bank. The bank gives you quite a lot of income, so that's cool. It doesn't tell you how much income, which is kind of annoying. Um, we'll buy the tailors and we'll buy the art merchants anyway. Because well, yeah, we don't have them yet. Now we do. See, this is why I always collect the chests before I um, get to this part of the game so I can buy some upgrades. Um, should I just buy all these? Oh, fuck it, why not? So it was making, what, 156, I think it was? If we buy these, these, these are good because you only have to buy them once. And then I think it's either cheaper or it's free to hire people. Well, I, 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 I don't know, it can't be free, surely not. So basically, um, I think it's cheaper to recruit uh, mercenaries, um, prostitutes and stuff like that. It's either cheaper or it's free, I can't remember which one it is. But yeah, there we go. So that's that's for now. Um, the bank is probably the best upgrade because it gives you the most money. But you got to think, you want your blacksmith so weapons and gear is cheaper. So there we go. I'll keep the rest of the money for now and see what we can buy at the, um, the blacksmith. For now. Buon viaggio. Bye. So we've just upped a um, monetary virus, which is coolier. Yeah. They're like 44,000 then, I thought. I didn't look. Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? Oh, I'll get rid of her, that a long time. Lords and lords of time. So now we make 4,556. And the chest can hold 18,000 um, florins. So every 20 minutes we're getting, let's say, four and a half grand. Nice. And a lot of it comes from other events that have been completed. So we get 10,000 for that. So the total buyer is 330. Yeah, 31,000. Oh, huh, I thought it was more. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I pressed A presto, Ezio. I pressed the. I always just, I can just imagine her saying, alright, piss off then. But yeah. Oh shit, so there's one more thing we need to do. 
One of the best things I love about this game is this next part. This. Like, why is it looking at this bookshelf? What, 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 what's behind? What, what is this bookshelf? It's you, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. Let's try to touch that imaginary button. <gasps> Secret. This fucking city was. Well, this whole, this whole place was built on secrets. I ain't waiting for you, Maria. I'm going down first because I love this place. Bye.